Hope you enjoy the show. This is the 26th year that First Avenue Playhouse has been in business doing a show every single month. One show every month, a different show every month. So we should, we should all be very proud of them. All those 26 years in Atlantic Highlands, New Jersey. In Atlantic Highlands, New Jersey. We are the number one place to visit if you want to go to a dessert theater in Atlantic Highlands. <laughs> <laughs> number one we are in Atlantic Highlands. How do I know that? Because I went to TripAdvisor, and on TripAdvisor it says, we are the number one in the in Atlantic Highlands. So I'm glad you're all here. And I invite you all to go to, to TripAdvisor to put in a good review of this show if you like it. If you don't like it, don't put any review in it. <laughs> so I bet you want to know why you're going to come back and what you're going to see when you do come back in either November or December. And I'm going to let you know right now, the first show you're going to see in November is called No Time Like the Present. Is there anybody here who's an actor or an actress? <laughs> here we go, an actress. Yeah, I think you're a little too young right now <laughs> for this show. Okay, but it's called No Man, Time uh, Like the Present. This is a comedy going to be done the whole month of November. In December, we have a show called On the 13th Day of Christmas. I know you're all familiar with the first 12 days of Christmas, but here we go. There is a 13th day of Christmas, and on the 13th day of Christmas, we are going to do that show in December. That is our holiday show. Now, some of you have asked some questions to Bakcha before, and uh, I've gotten some of the answers. My wife, Sue Ellen, is going to read some of the answers that Bakcha has provided for us. So read one of the answers to one of the questions. I'll read the question and the well, answer. Well, I'll read my favorite one because this was my favorite. Someone wanted to know how Bakcha got her name. And she explained to me when the midwife came, she was standing underneath and ready to catch her. Instead of gotcha, she said bopsha. <laughs> That's the favorite. That doesn't mean it's the best one. It just means it's the favorite. All right, give us one more. Let's see if we pick up from that. Okay, well, there might have been a reason why she said that because someone asked, what's your favorite? Most favorite recipe, and Bopsha said Bopsha's rumble. So maybe <laughs> she was, you know, <laughs> taking a little bit of time. Maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you one more chance. Do you want to hear what she's having for Thanksgiving? Okay. Someone wants to know about what she's making no, no, for Thanksgiving. I don't know okay. which one of you asked that. But she said that she's <coughs> making a big turkey. And she's stuffing it with pierogies and sausage. <laughs> and then she's marinating it overnight with her favorite ingredient, rum. <laughs> and she's going to take a little just in case. You know, okay, well, let's stop for a minute there. Uh, okay. <laughs> let's get to some other things and we'll get back to Bob in a minute. Okay, no. cell phones. Cell phones. Cell phones, please turn off your cell phone. The worst thing that can happen right now is if your cell phone goes off making a jiggly little noise or a beautiful lively little song, of course, which I know is going to happen during the show. During the show. Not a good thing, because it will throw your actors off, and we don't want the actors thrown off from their wonderful, wonderful show of comedy that you're going to see. So please shut off your cell phones or, or silence your cell phones so that you don't hear that go off. And don't think it hasn't happened before, because it has. Somebody's cell phone went off right during a show once about a few months ago or during one of my shows. She actually answered it, so here we go. We didn't throw it out, we just put it to the side for a few minutes to calm her down. We might have wanted to put it back in here. So uh, another thing you need to know is uh, bathrooms. Bathrooms are over here right during the exit, right here on the side if you haven't been here before. There are two bathrooms right here, and it's a uh, male or female in each bathroom. doesn't matter as long as you're not both there together. So there's no, nobody can go in, everybody can go to the bathroom. If a fire or an emergency happens, there are also two exits you should know about. The one you came in is an entrance and also an exit that you'll be using in a couple hours from now. But if there's an emergency, you can go out that exit. Or you can go out the exit on the side, pass by those two bathrooms, run all the way to the back. You'll see actors running out of the back of the building. You follow them right out and you'll be safe with them because they are the first ones out of the building in an emergency. Don't you worry about that. Uh, if you want to have uh, uh, get a, on a mailing list, we have a book in the back there. You can put your email address, and you will find out all the information about the theater for the next two, three, four months, and all into next year about every show we're doing and any kind of specials we're running. We are on Facebook. We have a website, firstavenueplayhouse.org. You can always go to and find out things. We have Twitter. We have TripAdvisor. Trip Advisor. I mentioned TripAdvisor when I started. 
and a bunch of other things. Okay, one more box of question do we have or two? Do you want the love potion one or the Caesar salad one? <laughs> love, potion. <laughs> love potion? Okay. Okay, she says you get a tall glass, you put cherries in it, you put water in it, and a lot of rum, and then you give it to each person, and there you have a love potion. So <laughs> love baby, baby. And what's the last one for uh, Caesar salad? The Caesar salad with the uh, anchovies. This is what we want to know. Do the anchovies go in the Caesar salad in every Caesar salad? Well, she said when she makes it, they don't always go in there. Some end up in her belly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're going to see Bob in just a few minutes. Okay, we're ready to start the show. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Have fun. Good evening. How's everyone doing tonight? Good? Hi. Welcome to Baking with Bobcha. Hi. How are you? Hi. Hi. How are you? Hello. How many of you have ever been to a live television show before? A few? No? Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. We have a... Uh, excellent. Well, I do have to let you know the show is live, which means anything, and I do mean anything can happen. And thank you to our community service station, Cable Access 4, and our sponsors. Uh, Philly's Famous Chief Steaks voted number one in New Jersey. Think Floral, Think Flower Express. Good food, good place, good people. The Town Surf Diner. Uh, Spa Beauty Personal Care at Salon at 68. Tasty Thai Food at Cunha Siam, all of which are right down the road. Uh, yeah. And, uh... Yeah, they're all down at Atlantic Highlands. Excellent. Hi. How are you? Everyone good? Excellent. Woo! Hi. Okay, my name is Stephanie Biddle, and I am Baking with Bacha, director and producer. And this here is Roberta. She is our audiovisual from the Getting Our Derelicts Over the Street program. <laughs> it is our job to make sure the show starts and ends and that you all have a fantastic time. Isn't that right, Roberta? Excellent, excellent. Good. See all the familiar faces. Mrs. H, how are ya? Good. How's the rash? Excellent. <laughs> Georgie. Georgie. Uh, Bob wanted me to let you know she got your recipe for her, uh, your chocolate syrup. Um, and due to health regulations, uh, we cannot dip you in it from head to toe. You're not a well man, George. Not a well man. All right. Uh, Roberta's letting me know that we have one minute until the show. Be right back. One minute, Bob Chow. Okay, dokie. Excellent. All right, so thank you today is Baking with Bobcha's last and final show. How about we give Bobcha with the biggest round of applause? So when uh, Roberta, Roberta, big, when Roberta puts the sign up <laughs> the other way, the, 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 good job. Uh, when Roberta puts the sign up, we'll give give Bobcha an applause and then turn. Let's turn it over. Turn it. Oh, we'll do it. Oh, 
how many friends. Oh, yes. But did you hear sad news? Oh, yes. Today is last baking with Bob to show. Oh, I guess he's through. Yes, yes. After today, no more babcha borscht, no more babcha cabbage roll, no more babcha. Oh, it's tragic, like Russian play. <laughs> and you know what is replacing the baking with babcha? Eh? Do you know? Do you know? No. Oh. Charlie's chess chat. <laughs> well, I got a better thing to replace the show with. Put on air. Watching grass grow is more exciting. <laughs> Charlie's chess chat. Those people who run the television station, they don't know. <clears throat> well, uh, she says to go on the show, so I guess <laughs> show only 20 minutes long. We better go on the show, eh? <laughs> oh, oh, have you met Stephanie? Have you met Stephanie? Yes. yes. Oh, sorry. Of, well, well, dear, come on, come meet the people. No. Hey, this is the last show. What's I gonna do? Fire a Bob Chubb. It's already fire. <laughs> <laughs> this is Stephanie. Say hello to Stephanie. Hi, Hi Stephanie. Oh, you know who he is, Stephanie. Stephanie is wonderful producer, wonderful director. And wonderful Babchka's daughter! Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Say, say hello to the nice people at home, Stephanie. Hello, nice people at home. <laughs> oh, she is such a good looking, hard working girl, yes. Oh, and Babchka's so proud. <laughs> because Stephanie has quit smoking! Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. How long has it been here? Uh, four days. Four days? And no cancer stick. <laughs> That's wonderful. Oh, and you know what else? Oh, please don't. Stephanie is single. <laughs> Can you believe it? So she just lost her job and she's a little short butt. <laughs> oh, she's so very cute. <laughs> you nice boys at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You nice boys at home. You send a letter to Babcha. Maybe Babcha set you up on one day. <laughs> Get on with your watch. <laughs> Hey, this is show. <laughs> All right, we get on with show. I tell you, that girl is like a teepee and a wig bomb. <laughs> Two tenths. <laughs> teepee, wig bomb. Two tenths. Uh, yes, we better get on with show. <laughs> All right, so. Today is the last Ukrainian, uh, uh, last show, so we make last Ukrainian supper. <laughs> but before we begin, we must put on apron. Uh, today's apron has been generously donated by Cindy Seller of Sin. What? Uh, well, uh, Stephanie, uh, uh, apron donated by Dollar Store is fine if you like that kind of thing, but <laughs> this is last show. And Bacha wants to go out with bang. <laughs> bang! <laughs> oh, Georgie, don't look too close. At least we can not settle. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we get on. Okay, we get on the show. <laughs> now, apron is on. What is the first thing we do before we cook? Wash your oh, very good, very good. Wash your hands. Oh. Are we all gonna wash our hands here? Everybody's washing hands at home, okay? Okay. So, last Ukrainian supper. <laughs> we make pierogi. Oh, now I know you people from New Jersey, you like to say pierogies. <laughs> no, 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 no. It is wrong, wrong, wrong. It is insult. Whenever you say pierogies, a Ukrainian grandmother dies. It's true. <laughs> uh, so, <coughs> say it with me. Pierrohe. Pierrohe. Oh, come on. Pierrohe. Beautiful, beautiful. So, and we make Ukrainian rum baba. <laughs> Poppy seed rum cake. Always use best ingredients. <laughs> Must taste rum for quality. Here we are. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
Oh, that Larry Biddle dated me first. Oh, that's it. In your dreams, I was dating Larry long before you oozed onto the scene. Who did he take to sing your poem? Huh? Who did he take to the spring social? We were engaged June of 1964. And broke up in August. And married in December. Well, he may have married you, but I was the one that made him happy. That man was never happy. Well, how <laughs> could he be living with you? What is that? <clears throat> what? <clears throat> this? That, that's the Biddle family heirloom ring. Yes. Uh, that belonged to his, his grandmother. Yes. That, how, how, did, how did you get it? <laughs> he gave it to me. When? When we were dating. But, but he said he lost it. Nope. You must have stolen it! How dare you! Oh, that ring should, should be mine! mine. <laughs> you can pry it from my cold, dead hand! Fine by me! Stop! <laughs> Club. Oh, girl, that's so nice. 
Oh, really? Oh, you did? Oh, so nice. They, did, did we walk? They say it was the funniest show they'd ever seen. And did someone write the script for the show, or did we improvise? Oh, I wrote it. <clears throat> we improvised. Uh, yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Make them all sit up. Uh-huh. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, you too. All right. Okay, bye-bye. <sighs> Another call. Let me handle this, please. Hello, Stephanie Biddle. Oh, hi, Mr. Patterson. How are you, sir? Is that you, Patterson? Who? Program executive, you, Patterson, you don't. Oh. oh, you did. Okay, I'll tell them. All right, all right, sir. Thank you so much. Bye. Well? That was Mr. Patterson. He called to tell us that he loved the show. It beat out... Uh, his favorite shows, uh, Jerry Springer and Martha Stewart. He can't wait to see you next week. Well, but I won't be on next week. Let me finish. He can't wait to see both of you next week in this brilliant new show format. He said if next week is good as this week, he'll make it part of regular programming. <laughs> you mean he wants us to be on the air again? Together? That's what he wants. Hey, you know we can't share a show together with him. Five minutes, one of us would be dead. And the other one would be accused of murder. I mean, we've hated each other over 30 years. <laughs> yes, I think that's the idea. Well, it's a ridiculous idea. Plus, I have no intentions of displaying my private affairs in public. Besides, I have other offers, you know. <laughs> oh, that is bull, and you know it. You've had about as many offers as I have, which is none. And as far as you displaying your public affairs, Come on, you've always been more than willing to open your big fat cake hole to anyone who would listen. That's an outright lie. You know I'm an extremely private person. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're about as private as a Kardashian's cleavage. <laughs> all right, all right, ladies, if you think it's such a bad idea, I will call Mr. Patterson myself and tell him that neither of you are willing to do the show. Bye. Bye. Nice, Ken. Retire early. Get yourselves into one of those nice retirement homes. Long, endless hours on the porch, learning macrame with Sister Mary Mildred. <laughs> Cups of tea, ham sandwiches, and unbuttered white bread. Time at 8.30. Unless... What? We script the show. But what do you mean by that? I will create dialogue for you <coughs> to follow precisely, and you won't have to air any of your own personal stories. What do you say? Well, I'm not going to share a dressing room with her. I'll get your own separate dressing room. It seems to me, ladies, we don't have much to lose. I mean, I know, I know. What do you say? All right, Count I'll me in. try. Great. Uh, okay, now I have to draft up a script outline and get the ball rolling. Now we're going to need a new name. The Izzy and Dolly Show. No, no, no. The Dolly and Izzy Show. Oh, why do you always have to get first billing? It's alphabetical. Oh, you are age before people. Oh, wait a minute. You're older than I am. Since when? Since God said, let there be light, and you threw the switch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I got it. No. How about the Kitchen Witches? Huh? Huh? That's good, right? What are you implying? <laughs> oh, you can't think of me as a witch. Unless you spell it with a B, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that tears it. I will continue to do this show, but I will hope I appreciate you keeping that woman as far away from me as possible until we go on air. I shall be in my dressing room. Uh, my dressing room. Here's my card, Stephanie. Call me with the details. Kitchen witches indeed. Get the hell out of my way! <laughs> Roberta, get me a packet of Nicorette and a large bottle of Tylenol. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. <laughs> I said, I said.
said, be here at the studio at 9 a.m. Be prompt, I said. Where the hell's the sign? Roberta, the sign. Hello? Oh, great, good, beautiful. Now we just need the witches. Oh, Miss Lomax. Good morning, Stephanie. Lovely morning, isn't it? Oh, no, dear, just Isabel. No need to be so formal. All right, have you, uh, have you seen Dolly yet? Who? <laughs> Dolly Bill, my mother, your co-host. Oh, I almost forgot about her. <laughs> Isn't she here? No. Oh, well, I'm sure she'll be along soon. Don't get yourself so agitated or you'll give yourself an ulcer. I don't have room for another ulcer. <laughs> Stephanie, uh, is that my name I see on dressing room number two? Yes. And is that Dolly's name I see on dressing room number one? So? Why does she have to get the dressing room closest to the set? What? <laughs> Dear, dressing room one is clearly closer to the set. <laughs> I'll just go to Molly. 
a dressing room. The far away dressing room. <laughs> and, and I'll take my medication and I'll just need to lay down for a few minutes before I'm ready to, to go on. <laughs> trying to think of some fresh new ideas to get under my skin. Uh, yeah. Isabel, could you just do me a favor and, and, and try and be nice for me, as a favor to me, please? Well, mm -hmm. okay, <laughs> but only because you're so darn cute. <laughs> you're much cuter than your father ever was. Uh, I don't really remember him much, only a few photos. Larry, your dad, he wasn't much to look at, but he had a certain charm, a certain air that made him completely irresistible. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I'm the other woman. <laughs> Does that upset you? It's a little weird, yeah. <laughs> well, then we don't ever have to talk about it. Uh, we can keep it strictly professional. If there's anything you'd like to know about your father, you can ask me. And if not, we don't ever have to talk about it. Deal? Deal. <laughs> now, Stephanie, are you going to stand around here chatting? Oh. Or are you going to get rehearsing? Oh, right, rehearsal. Uh, let me just go see if Camille has finished her death scene. <laughs> We're ready for you, Ma. I was just taking my medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Get your knickers in a twist. <sighs> Hello, Isabel. <laughs> Hello, Dolly. Uh, not as an attractive blouse. Oh, well, thank you. And, and, and that's an uh, interesting... Uh, what is that called? <laughs> it's a chef's jacket. Oh, a chef's jacket, of course. How very practical. Thanks. <laughs> Of course, you never did think about a lot about fashion, did you? <laughs> oh, funny to my recollection, I was always the one ahead of the fashion trend, better than being behind it like some people I know. Okay, all right, okay, ladies. Um, I think what we need to do is focus on the cameras and the food and the audience. Now, you already know that I'm, uh, I mean, the script is the kitchen kitchen, right? I, I mean, what are you doing? <laughs> the flower was in the wrong place. Oh, no, dear. The flour is in exactly the right place. First the flour, then the salt, then the sugar. Oh, no, 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 no. One never puts the salt next to the sugar. Far too easy to select the wrong one. For you, maybe. <laughs> I happen to know the difference between salt and sugar. What are you implying? That I don't? Well, you know what? I kind of am. No. <laughs> Uh, 
the first thing we need to do is uh, decide which aprons to wear. No, what we really need to no, do. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I agree with Dolly on this point. Appearances are very important. Oh, yeah. TV personalities are our trendsetters, and it's very important we look our best at all times. In fact, Izzy, I hope you don't mind. I went to, I went to a kitchen supply store, and I happened to come across these great aprons. I, I've, but I think we can both wear. Oh, if great minds don't think alike, I also got a couple of aprons for us ourselves. Oh, isn't that thoughtful? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
recipes from the old south. <laughs> and speaking of old, did you know that Dolly doesn't have a friend in the world? She's outlived them all. <laughs> Let's turn the heat and bring the show to a boil with two ladies who make 
mix as well as water and oil. You never can tell what they'll be cooking up next. Someone could get hex, they're sure to be vexed. You could see a trick today, you could get a treat. But chances are not only eggs and cream will we be. Now here's the two soon who keep you in stitches. It's Isabel and Dolly, the kitchen witches. Ridiculous 
charade. Isabel! I did not go to the school of Code on Blue for four years to be on this tacky show wearing this offensive costume and being made a fool of by some overstuffed and left a bell. Who are you calling overstuffed? Oh, honey, we can fill you in helium and rename you Zeppelin. <laughs> Timmy, are you going to let her talk to your mama like that? Isabel, Stephanie, it's about time that we admitted that this was a bad idea from the start. We were fools to think that this could ever work. Sorry to disappoint you folks, but this show has just been canceled. Is it a wait? No, there's no use in waiting. I'm through. <laughs> All right. You're going to hear some music. When you hear the music, I want you to start singing. Okay, Cheryl, hit it. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello.
Okay, Lillian, very good. <laughs> certificate to go to the town and surf diner. Big Flower, Big Flower. 
just ate too much uh, prime rib last night, I guess. Oh, that's great. Now I'm working with Emeril Lagasse. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, it'll pass in a minute. Well, don't pass it over here. <laughs> You know, if I didn't have to walk so far to my dressing room... Oh, don't you complain to me! I always arrive first! It's only right! All right, I'm sorry. Get on with it, please. We can discuss the cookbook later. You bet your sweet ass asparagus we can. <laughs> All right, letter number two. Yes, letter number two. Letter number two is from John from Belleville. Oh, hello, John from Belleville. Thank you for, for contacting us again. <laughs> Dear witches, first of all, I'd like to thank Isabel for sending me her steak and kidney pie recipe. I made it for a potluck supper the other night, and everyone raved about it. <laughs> oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> <laughs> But the real reason I'm writing is to let Stephanie know that I've been a reformed smoker for 18 months now. I thought I'd never quit, but I was fortunate enough to have good friends who encouraged me and helped me through the worst of it. Please let Stephanie know that if she needs a friend, she can give me a call anytime, day or night. John. Ooh, let's see. Oh, look, he's listed his home number, cell number, work phone, fax number, email, email address, Twitter account, Facebook page, Snapchat. <laughs> you can keep this in a safe place. Oh, I really, I don't, it's, I don't really. Oh, know. honey, you can't have too many friends. Oh, but you can have too many mothers. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the nice boy John, thank you. Thank you, John. And that you give him a call sometime? I'll uh, think about it. Get on with the show. Witches, prepare! <laughs>
Uh, you must make <coughs> as many dishes as you can using items all related to our favorite dinner course. Dessert! Oh, yummy! Excellent, excellent! I hope you like dessert. You love it. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Witch Dolly. Uh, ready. Are you ready, Witch Izzy? Ready. Are you ready, Celebrity Judge Dean? Born ready. Okay. Oh, 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 Survive. 
Uh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. All right, Dean, the winner. 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 Okay. I'll take the bourbon ball. <laughs> Isabel? Oh, Stephanie. I thought, uh, well, I thought the place needed some tidying up. You know, the uh, cleaning crew comes in in the morning. I know, but I couldn't sleep, so I uh, thought I'd make myself useful. Oh, okay. You? What? What are you doing here? You can only walk so many corridors in a hospital. Once you walk them all, you start to get dizzy. 
and there are hospital smells. Yes. Uh, do they know anything yet? No, they just told me to go home and get some rest. I, I guess that's best. Oh yeah, rest. Right. I bet you haven't eaten anything all day. No, I'm not hungry. Well, how about I just throw some things together? And you don't have to make a fuss. It's oh. just no fuss. Throw a couple things together and we can sit down and chat. Will you stop trying to mother me? Is that what I'm trying to do? Isn't it? By now, I thought I was just trying to make you a sandwich. You've been trying to get close to me ever since you got here, but it's not going to work. I already have a mother. I know that. I chose her to be your mother. I chose Dolly Biddle to be your mother because I knew that she could raise you better than I ever could. Dolly was my best friend. Didn't know that, did you? Yep. We're as close as sisters, Dolly and I, growing up in old Keensburg. We did everything together. We did sleepovers. We sat next to each other in school. We talked on the phone for hours. We were the first ones to wear dog, ankle, uh, dog collars on our ankles. Dog collars? Yes. Left if you were going steady and right if you were single. <laughs> we were quite the pair. Sarah there were right. Right. Our uh, last year of high school, we met Larry Biddle. <laughs> what a character. I still remember the first time that he drove his car on the school parking lot. In his ancient wreck of a Ford Coupe. You know, he taught your mother how to drive in that car. Not a terrible driver. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> she kept missing the clutch and stepping on the brake and she kept stalling at every light if she managed to stop at all. <coughs> I'd be hanging in the back, and Larry would be in the front and saying to her, grab that knob, grab that knob, and she'd be yelling, I can't, I can't, I'm trying to drive. <laughs> uh, mustard and mayo. Uh, mustard. <laughs> In the summer of 64, Larry proposed to me. I was stunned. I didn't want to get married. I didn't want to settle down. I was working and saving money to go to the Cordon Bleu in Paris. So I turned him down. Larry was upset. He was angry, embarrassed. So the next day, he proposed to your mother. She was over the moon with excitement. She was planning a Christmas wedding and flashing the world's tiniest diamond. <laughs> a little ground pepper because I was out of there as soon as possible. <sighs> sure. Three years later, when I returned from Paris as chef triumph of the Cordon Bleu, <clears throat> Dolly was still stuck in Kingsburg. I came back. Larry came down to New York City, and there we were. Two hormonal teenagers again. I've said too much. No. Let's need something. If I know my mother, <laughs> I do. <laughs> so, three months later, three months later, I have a little bit of bum in the oven. 
Dolly desperately wanted to have children, but found out that she couldn't. And I never wanted to have kids, and found that I could pop them out like toaster strudels. <laughs> <laughs> so <coughs> we quietly arranged with an adoption agency. And the day after you were born, you became part of the Biddle family, and I went up to Korea Matter. And you forgot about me. Forgot about you? I thought of you every day. When Larry used to come down from New York City, he would bring a photo or a report card and look. A lock of your hair, two baby Taiz teeth. That is something you do not see every day. <laughs> You know the rest of the story. Um, one of Larry's visits to New York City, he had that heart attack in the motel. And I found myself at his funeral, <coughs> hiding in the dark. Of course you're not going to know the story. Apparently, it was the first time that a funeral was reported in the sports section. <laughs> <laughs> Never take the place of her in my heart. No one ever could. But if I could just find a place somewhere in your life, well, that would be more than I could ever give you. I'm going to need a little bit more time. <clears throat> now, you take all the time you need. I know you're going to be okay, kiddo. And I know that Dolly's going to. Okay, I just know it. You know what? Let's have some dessert and coffee. I think there's some pastry shells that I can use. Isabel? Bye. 
Philly's famous cheesesteaks, number one in New Jersey. <laughs> think floral, think Flower Express. Good food, good place, good people, the town surf and diner. Spa, beauty, and personal care at Salon at 68. Tasty Thai food at Cunha Siam. And um, La Maison de Boeuf, where you never get a bum steer. <laughs> Today's theme is goodies from the garden, and we are going to start by making a lovely julienne salad with some low-fat dressing and some special herbed croutons. Now, if our good friend Dolly would have eaten more fresh fruits and vegetables, then instead of instead of snacking on fatty foods, she would be here right now. All right, I've had about enough of this. Oh, Dolly, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? You're supposed to be home resting. Oh yeah, you like that, wouldn't you? You hat from hell. <laughs> Me home alone on my deathbed, gasping my last breath, while you sit here and happily decapitate vegetables and plot to take over the show. Well, you wouldn't want my loyal viewers to be disappointed, would you? Excuse me, is this your knife? I just pulled it from my back. And you, you, oh, I expected it from her, but never expected you would turn against your mother, your real mother. Well, will you just stop? Will you just stop? Let me explain. Oh. Stephanie and I have something to say. Oh, so it's Stephanie and I, is it? Oh, it's not enough to make you want to hurl. That is until I threw up on his shoes. <laughs> well, that could put a damper on things. Yeah. <laughs> well, it turns out it, it was nothing serious, folks. Just a little bit of um, blockage. <laughs> and, uh, well, an industrial sized enema, and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I'm here. I feel a lot better. And, uh, <laughs> I feel about five pounds lighter. <laughs> I tell you, it was like passing a bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dolly, it's so good to have you back. <laughs> oh, Izzy, it's really nice to hear you laugh again. Oh, I've missed you so much. And I just wanted, been meaning to tell you that I'm so sorry about Larry. I've been wanting to tell you that for all these years. It was a terrible, terrible thing to do to a friend. Hey, okay, how about me? Marrying a man purely for spite. Oh, I've been wanting to clear the air for years. Me too. And, and since we are confessing our sins. My ring, mm. you did have it! I sure did. I just didn't know I had it. What? <laughs> you remember that little bit of a biscuit mix I ate a couple of weeks ago? <clears throat> uh -huh. Yeah, I thought it was a little lumpy. Yeah. Uh. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> Caused a backup worse than the Garden State Parkway to rush out. <laughs> the doctor said it was more one of the more unusual things that came out. <laughs> Izzy, dear, you can keep it. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Uh... <laughs> But uh, since it's a biddle heirloom, I think I'll just pass it. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> On to the next generation. <laughs> We're in good health. <laughs> hey, thanks. <laughs> you know, I kept that ring at the bottom of my jewelry box all these years. I just took it out 
for the show because I knew it bugged you. <laughs> it all seems so silly now, doesn't it? <laughs> mm, a little bit. But you know what isn't silly? What? <laughs> Look, we just made a beautiful, low-fat, delicious julienne salad big enough for a family of three. Three? Mm-hmm. Oh, how nice. <laughs> Stephanie, you could be our celebrity judge. Uh, no, you two go ahead. I have plans to eat after the show. You have a lunch date? No. Uh, yes. Oh, who with? <laughs> no one you know. Oh, uh, did you have time to meet someone? Oh, the nice doctor at the hospital. No. Oh, the checkout boy from Food Town. <laughs> John from Belleville. Yes. Uh, oh, I knew it. You go, John boy. Oh. <laughs> You should go to La Maison de Boeuf, where you never get a bum steer. No, no, I'm going to his place. He is making dinner. Oh, what is he making? I don't know. I think oh, Isabel, if things work out, maybe we could be planning for our first grandchild. Yeah. Oh, you've got to bring wine. I will. And wear a little bit of perfume. Okay. And most importantly, <laughs> wash your hands, man. <laughs> Okay, I missed your line, so you gotta say it again. Wash your hands, really. There you go.